some would say it's way too big, enormous even. So what is my dream? My dream is to teach and learn the students in a school that is of the students. Sure, why not? A school that is by the students. Sure, why not? And a school that is for the students. Sure, why not? Real and lasting disruption and change are like some chemical reaction. Slow, slow, until you add a catalyst, an enzyme of some kind. Making my disrupt dream into my disrupt reality will take time and require multiple catalysts. First, I have to be a catalyst. I have to walk the walk. Pink says that students probably want to do something interesting. I'll start by committing one block in five to student choice, student interest, student leadership, student-defined science, and just let me get out of the way. Critical Friends will also be a catalyst through collaboration with both the like-minded and the skeptics, and of course students, I will create a forum to make this disrupt reaction even better. What is the final catalyst to really get this disrupt reaction cooking? Success and failure. There will be some of both. But I'm a scientist, so even when an hypothesis is disproven, you still know more than when you started. To make my disrupt dream a reality, it has to become a contagion, too. Can I get other teachers disrupting their classrooms? Can I offer a disrupt course? Can we have a disrupt middle school? Can we have a school that's of, by, and for the student? Sure, why not? Is, okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sam, I'm feeling your pain. <laughs> um, this has been something that's been uh, percolating for almost three years. It started uh, with my first Cotel course, Robert Apino. Shout out. Love you. Love you. And um, it, it really rose to the surface. Um, in my heart and mind and didn't let go. So almost three years later, when I was given the opportunity through the Disrupt Strand to spend a little time and thought and energy on um, making it into an action plan, um, it was really a blessing <laughs> to be here and be a part of it. So just a little explanation about what I'm going to do first, my first steps, uh, the one in five blocks we're on a block system uh, an eight-day rotation cycle so my commitment will be to give my students every fifth block to do what they want to do to learn what they want to learn um, and i'm hoping that i can inspire some of my colleagues to maybe not even wait until after we've tested this and come on board and be willing to do it in their classes uh, it just makes sense. Every time you read about a school that's doing this or you talk to someone who's doing this, whether it's on a small scale or a, a school-wide scale, it's inspiring. It works. It really, really works. Um, as for the money, I want to make it a part of the student learning experience as well. I would like to set it up um, where they have to make grant proposals if they need money to accomplish their learning goal. So um, thank you for listening. I would encourage you and challenge you to also try to disrupt a little bit in your classroom. Thank you.